epic story, Beowulf, is often cited as one of the most important pieces of Anglo-Saxon literature. Beowulf. Did you say? Beowulf. No, no, no. It is Beowulf. A wolf, not woof. Woof, woof, woof. A story about a little doggy. Be. Oh. Wolf. Beowulf. Anyways. I am sure you will enjoy it. Here is the synopsis. Oh. And be wary, it is a spoiler. To him an heir was afterward born, a son in his holes, whom heaven sent to favor the folk. Feeling their woe that Ursae lacked an earl for leader so long a while, the lord endowed him, the wielder of wonder, with world renown. Famed was this Beowulf, far flew the boast of him, son of skilled in the Scandian lands. The poem of Beowulf consists of three main parts, first with Grendel attacking Herod, then with Grendel's mother avenging his death, and finally the rage of a dragon after its treasure is stolen. The book starts when a king named Hrothgar builds a dining hall and names it Herod. A little while after Herod is constructed, a hideous monster named Grendel attacks the place and eats a man who is sleeping there. After several nights of being attacked, Hrothgar calls a clan from over the waters, the Geats, to come and help him defeat Grendel. A few men come to help Hrothgar, one of whom is the protagonist, Beowulf. During the night, Grendel raids Herod again, but is confronted by Beowulf. The two wrestle, and Beowulf kills Grendel, earning the praise of Hrothgar and his men. Later, Grendel's mother, a water witch, comes to avenge her son's death and kills one of Beowulf's men. Beowulf traps the woman to a swamp and fights her as well, ultimately triumphing over her. Now that Grendel and his mother are dead, there is peace at Herod. Beowulf becomes famous and is crowned king of the Geats. The story skips ahead years later and transitions to the third major section of the book. The last part of the book takes place in Beowulf's kingdom, not at Herod. One of Beowulf's men steals some treasure from the dragon's hoard, and the dragon goes on a rampage throughout the land. Beowulf and his men travel to the dragon's cave to fight it, and Beowulf is wounded by the dragon's poisoned horn. While the rest of the men cower in fear, Beowulf and his friend Wiglaf chase the dragon into the cave, and Beowulf kills it, right before announcing Wiglaf king, and finally, dying. Wiglaf banishes the unfaithful men who did not follow Beowulf, and buries the hero. The story ends with this quote. Thus made their mourning the men of Geatland, for their heroes passing his hearth companions. Quoth that of all the kings of the earth, of men he was the mildest and most beloved, to his kin the kindest, keenest for praise. To put it plainly, Beowulf is the story of a hero and his battles against monsters. It has been adapted for the screen several times. Here are a few trivia facts. Once you read the book, you can leave a comment below. I am sure all of them will be positive. See you next time on Classic Book Reviews.